hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i have my sister here if you watched my previous video you already know her her name is messi yeah. hi guys okay so today we're going to play never have i ever game yes so we have um two papers with thoughts one says i have and the other says i um, have never so yeah i'll be reading out the questions i will answer okay, so without further ado let's just jump right into the video Never have I ever been sent out of my class. You have? I have. Really? Ah, countless times. What did you do? Countless things. From noisemaker, chewing gum, late comma, not lighting You were mode. the notorious student. Not having pain. Definitely. One thing, one thing. You are the notorious student. Ah. Okay. Never have I ever been stood up on a date. I'll say I have, but I have never. You have never? No. I'll say I have never, like, an actual date, but I have. I think I have with a couple of friends, like female friends. Maybe we'll plan to go out or we'll they plan an event you. and they'll be like, oh, I have other plans. I'll let them. <laughs> I'm okay. I didn't want to go in the first place. Uh, okay. <laughs> but sometimes I genuinely want to go and I'll understand, especially if the situation is emergency or something. But other times I'll be like, okay, cool. I'll just chill. Never have I ever been suspended from school. We are good kids. Yeah. Yeah. Never have I ever been arrested. No. Cops' daughters uh. don't get arrested. Never have I ever had a surprise party thrown for me. You have? Yeah. How, when? I think my 20th birthday, back then in school. Yeah, uh, so it's also a birthday party for me as well. I think I've had a surprise birthday. You're, you're also surprised. Yeah, mine was surprised, but lucky I knew because my friends wouldn't wouldn't shut up. <laughs> they talk too much. I never so I, I had to act surprised. I was like, <laughs> never have I ever pretended to get a text to leave a date with my full chest. <laughs> yes. Why? Maybe it's boring. Oh my goodness, my worst date experience, I actually pretended mm. so that I could just get out. Like, never have I ever said I would call you back but never bothered. Uh, <laughs> Wait, to finish my life. The truth is, sometimes I actually forget, but I actually do forget sometimes. Even if if I, I say I'll call you back, I'll, I mean, I'll try. Try. Try to call you. cannot send a voice note. You cannot tell me what you want to tell me on WhatsApp. You'll be calling my life. What happened? I'm not owing you money. Okay. Mm. Never have I ever eaten what I know was for someone else. I mean, we do that a lot. If you keep <laughs> anything in the fridge, it's gone. I know it's not mine. I'll eat it. Don't open it. Because they eat my... Don't just for that to open it. Even if it's a drink. See, if you, ha if you have a pack of, like, for example, a pack Holandia. of Hollandia. <laughs> Please don't, don't even start if you know you're not going to finish it. If at that spot. If you're not going to finish it at that spot, don't start. Because hmm. once you take a cup of it well, and you it. keep it in the fridge, before I'll you come, you. before you come back, <laughs> when you carry the Olandia, you the, carry your... the pack will follow you. <laughs> ah, they will finish it for you. Never have you phoned or chatted with somebody in the toilet. Your privacy. I I, I, I want to go to the next room just to press my phone. Yeah. Or send a voice note. Or listen to a voice. Eh? Yeah. Listen to a voice. I'll do it there. Who's yeah. Hmm. I have. Never have I ever been in a pool. <sighs> no, I've done that. Ah. It's so wrong, though. Ah. It's wrong. Mm. Why would you do that? Ah. You just keep saying, ah, ah, ah. Because the experience, eh? They carry, ah. I've done it. Like, I went on. More than once. More than once. Like, um, I was grown up. I remember I went out with a guy and he came along with his, I think, nephews. And so the guy was like, Put them through, just take them to the water. And uh, you don't know how to swim. I was doing it. One was crying, the other one was doing, and me wanted to urinate. Eh, you like not leave somebody's child and say they will not marry me. Ah, my mother guy did it there. Never have I ever fallen asleep in the cinema. 
Now I don't go. Really? I, I went to the cinema one time at night, like around 10 p.m. So the movie lasted till about 12 midnight. Okay, I was knackered. I was so tired that day from work. I think I went from work with some friends. And it was such an interesting movie. I was just there like, no, I was just there sleeping away. Ah. So the movie ended. We were like, do you know this Ah, do you know what this happened? <laughs> I didn't know nothing. I was busy. And you know the cinema is dark, so nobody would actually know no that, that uh, yeah. I was sleeping. And then, you know you can't talk to your neighbor in the cinema, You'll so you, it needs to be quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Sleeping like that kind of uncomfortable sleep. Never have I been stuck on an elevator. This is Nigeria. Nepal will take like Jesus. You'll be thinking of your or your eh. Like when it happened to me, oh my God! The first thing I said, God, please forgive me all my sins in case this is the last day. Hey, I was so scared. You're so dramatic. Oh my God, no. Never have I ever broken a bone or got some stitches. I'm not athletic, but never. I didn't buy baby. When I was growing up, I had the special water for all the baby. Yeah, yeah, I remember the story. Should I say? Yeah. Okay, so um, back then we we had this extramura class we attend after school. So we attend from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. every day after school. We're still in secondary school then. So the building it's it's an uncompleted building just a structure with wooden um pillars and ceiling or a zinc or something yeah. over it and um we were there teachers and students were about let's say 80 it was a huge place with a lot of people there so years ago and all of a sudden the structure collapsed literally it collapsed and we're in like we're under it yeah with the chairs the blackboard everything the board the chairs, the teachers, everything, the chairs and tables, yeah, they were like this, and we were underneath the screen on top of it. So I managed to crawl out with a couple of people, but fortunately, my sister got injured and broke her kneecap. Yeah. yeah, her kneecap, she got injured. Yeah, that was one time you got, you got, you had that accident. But glory to God that I came out untouched. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, it's a testimony. Thank God for that. Um, okay, never have I ever. Regifted a gift card. If you give me a gift card without signing it, I'm regifting it. Gift card, gift bags. I mean, what's the essence of giving a gift card without signing it? We'll move. Give it to the next person. A signature or something. Yeah, your name. Okay, Just write something on it. If you don't write anything, I'm regifting it. I do that all the time. Life goes on. Never have I called the wrong person but pretended I meant to call them. People have a lot of blessings saved in their phones, so they just call me sometimes and they intend to talk to somebody else. And they just be like, Oh, it was, I didn't intend to call you, they just end it. I, it. I used to feel some type of way about it. So when I, when I make such mistakes, I'll just be like, Oh, how are you doing? How is everything? How is work? How is school? Whatever the case may be. And then I just call to check up on you, hope you're good, and all of that. I just end the call. So the person, so the person does not think I called by mistake because I know they'll feel some type of way. Some people feel special when they'll be like, Oh, you remembered me today, especially if it's been a long while but if you just tell them oh it's a mistake they're like oh. they just maybe the person was even sleeping when yeah they'd be like woke me up just for mistake it's, just, it's so sad but yeah um never have i ever peed myself because i was laughing so hard have i i don't I think have. so I have. I have never i've never I the, the, the worst that can happen is i'll start to cry like tears will come out of my eyes but mm. not pee on myself. That's 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 the thing. You've been holding the you you mean and something funny just happened and a little pit a, a little, little bit yeah, just come really out. Like... Never have I ever been chased by an animal. Dogs. Ha. Huh. to know. <laughs> what's Tolo Tolo? If you know what Tolo Tolo is, is, please comment down below. Ah. What's Tolo Tolo? <laughs> Jeez. I remember when I was growing up, like my mom sent me to go and grind paper downstairs of her house, and I got distracted. So I was playing, so I just gave the man the stuff to grind, and I went somewhere else. Yeah. Only for me to come back. Whether the dog has been waiting for me, that okay, this girl, you felt you could disobey today, right? Hmm. On my way back, oh, jelly, I carried my tomato to go and give my mother. 
I was going nowhere. Before I knew what was happening, the dog was after me. Hey, come and see. <laughs> You're scared. Ha! Ah. I didn't even know when I threw the paper away. The dog bites my skirt. Yeah. My you see the scratch on my face that very day. I could not even tell my mom this was what happened. I could not produce the paper. And I came back home crying. There was nothing. <laughs> my I did the second experience with that Tolu Tolu. I didn't even know what I was going to. Tolu Tolu. I did it talking. It will be walking like and that that animal is actually fast. It can walk very fast. So I was How going, did you annoy it? I don't know whether I threw stone at it. No, ah, bad day. You are such bad a mischievous person. When you so playful with everything, I thought I could just test his temper. Whether it was a male or a female, I don't know. If you see this thing chased me, God, I ran for my life. The thing even ran faster than me. I could not even tell people this was what chased me because I don't even know what to call the name. I can't know it's the load to load that I grew up calling it. Okay, I think I'll be chased by dogs. Severally, like we grew up with dogs, we always had dogs for years, countless years, and we we don't like dogs till now. No, because of the, the memories of being chased by dogs, and probably the dogs were just trying to play with us. But don't eh? play with me. They'll tell you it doesn't bite, it doesn't eh? bite. It's just play with eh? pets. They play bring dog to my house and call it a pet. You just say play. Hmm. Please, excuse me. Hmm. Yeah, never have I ever lied about my name. She not so messy. Mm-hmm. Happy girl. Glory Sandra. Great. Mess- Anyone that Mess- just comes out. If you are the last person I call on my contact, I'll tell them your name. <laughs> my friend's name. Hey, don't come and call me and be asking me. Well, the reason for this is because of the area we grew up, some people just tend to call your name randomly. So if you give them your name and they call your name, you'll be like, oh, I know this person. This person probably knows me and that's why they're calling me. You turn back. But if they call a name that doesn't register, you just move on. Or if they call. See, my name. Mm-hmm. That's not your name, so you just move on. So that's how I tend to give the wrong names. Yeah. Never have I ever given someone the wrong number on purpose. What I do is I just uh, I give the correct numbers till I get to the last two and I just mix them up or give change the two last numbers. But yeah, so when I get caught, I'll be like, oh, I'm sorry, you did some mistake and mix up on that. I was thinking of something. I did it on purpose, and I'm sorry. That was dead. But now. I don't do such anymore. If I don't want to give you my number, I own it. I'm an adult and I'll be like, I'm sorry, I can give you. I will have a smile on my face. I'll be like, oh, I'm sorry, I can give you. I'm sorry. <laughs> With a smile on my face. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos, comment, share the video with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.